this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Well, y'all, it looks like God's army is in a little trouble. This is the convoy of Bible thumpers who were going down to the Mexican border to put a stop to all of those illegals coming across the border. Now, y'all, we knew it. <laughs> we knew there was going to be a hot mess when they said they were going to do that. But anyway, they claim they're going to have a big convoy of trucks going down there park down there and I don't know what they were going to do but they were going to use the Bible they said to stop those people from crossing the border. The God's Army trucker convoy that's headed to the U.S.-Mexico border in Texas in a takeout border back campaign is off to a rocky start according to a report from Wired. The movement aimed to amass thousands of trucks at the border in what organizers called a biblical protest of the record number of migrants who are illegally crossing into the United States. I'm sorry, but I'm calling vigilante on this one. They're using a B-I-B-L-E to pull off a V-I-G-I-L-A-N-T-E. -E. Vigilante's hiding behind the Bible, but let's see what happened. But it was hindered before it even started. What organizers promised to be a force 700,000 strong saw just dozens set off from Virginia Beach Monday. <laughs> the low turnout was blamed on right-wing paranoia that the event was an FBI trap. I ain't no FBI trap. Everybody knew what that was. I'm familiar with these type of people really well and this is what they do when they fail or they come up with something stupid and it, it sounds good to them but it sounds stupid to everybody else and they fail and it was always going to fail then they find somebody else to blame. Now they're blaming it on the FBI that they didn't have 700,000 people to turn out. I could have... <laughs> There is no way 700,000 white people are going to get on the road to go down to the Texas border to fight. They'd rather go down there by themselves than go down there in a convoy that big. And now they've hit the road. They've hit by many trials. Well, let's see what they are. According to one convoy member, some woke up to find their tires had been slashed outside a hotel they were staying at. <laughs> Others said that when the group assembled at a meeting in Norfolk, Virginia, the number of trucks was tiny and none were joining since. So ain't nobody else got in that convoy. So, <laughs> oh, so smart, so smart. Wired reported that no other trucks joined the convoy that day, a report from Business Insider stated. After departing an hour behind schedule, Wired reported that one of the vehicles almost got lost, citing messages posted in the Zello Walkie Talkie app. It also it said the group also argued over accommodations during a planning meeting later that day. Heightened tensions may have led one participant being barred from the convoy. So they already had to kick somebody out of the convoy and they haven't even gotten started yet. Now, I realize the problem at the Mexican border as well as anybody, and I do understand and I do support what the governor of Texas is doing, but I do not support people like this. They remind me too much of the KKK. A bizarre incident reportedly took place where the convoy's main bus pulled over on the shoulder of a highway and ejected one of its passengers. Oh my goodness, they had to put somebody out of the truck. According to a live stream that reported on the incident, it's not known why the passenger was booted, but he was left stranded in Florence, South Carolina, without his wallet. <laughs> 
As a sidebar, I really like Florence, South Carolina. And if you know anything about I-20 Interstate, it ends in Florence, South Carolina. Or it begins in Florence, South Carolina, depending on which direction you're going. My husband and I were going to somewhere. We were either going to we were either going to Myrtle Beach or Hilton Head, and we were on I-20, and we actually came to the end of I-20, and it just turned into a regular state road. I thought that was so interesting. We drove to the end of I-20 Interstate. Yes. Okay. So back to the subject. The group says that the convoy is all a part of a week-long protest against President Biden's border policies. The group hopes to shed light on the ongoing situation at the border. These people's intentions might be good, but what I see is a very toxic cocktail. You have angry white men in a group with a Bible. These people calling themselves Christians are some of the most dangerous people in the world. So I think they should let the government handle it. And it's on the government of the United States to resolve that problem. And I think that Americans should support actions like the governor of Texas. Those are the kinds of things that will bring it to, to an end. Because the reality is, those people have been coming across that Texas border for years and years and years. But because people live in New York or Colorado or Illinois, they don't feel the brunt of it because it's not their state. But now that he's busting them out of Texas into these so-called sanctuary cities, now they are feeling the pressure of having all of these people in the cities and trying to find somewhere for them to stay, trying to find food, and, and trying to find clothing and, and, and protection from this winter weather. So it's unfortunate. It's a bad crisis in America right now. But this is the crisis of the governors, the mayors, the president, and the United States House of Representatives and Congress, the legislature. This is not a job for Americans taking matters into their own hands. I think that can be very, very dangerous. But what say you? Let me know what you think about the video. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.